Okay, to get started with Blender and MB Dyne, uh, go to the GitHub website um, for Blender and MB Dyne under the GDBALDW account. Um, then just simply go over to download zip, download the zip. From there, you're basically uh, uh, the first of two steps. The second step is inside of Blender. Now, this is Blender version 2.7 uh, to open uh, file user preferences and then install from file from there you uh, select the file that was just downloaded right here um, and then uh, once you select that uh, as install from file you'll see STEM has been added to the category select that and you'll see that um, STEM uh, has MBDI modeling and simulation click that and you're good to go if you'd like to keep this uh, in your settings, say save user settings, and every time you start Blender, it'll be installed. That's important if you open a uh, saved file, uh, you'll need to have this uh, add on installed. And so we have all of these um, categories which come from MBDyne. Um, we uh, can uh, take this object and make it into, let's say, a body. The body will have a mass of one a 3 by 3 matrix. That matrix will be an identity matrix. Select OK. OK, that's our element. And then let's say, oh, we want another element, which would be gravity. So let's say we want to add environment gravity. All right, we'll have gravity. It'll be on a unit drive on a 3 by 1 vector. The 3 by 1 vector will make it minus 1 here. Click OK. So good. So now we have our uh, two elements. Um, uh, before we can run MBDyne, we need to save the Blender file. We'll do um, uh, save, and I'm just saving it in my temp folder. Once it's saved, now in Actions, we can create the MBDyne file. Click that, and uh, then run MBDyne, and then display the results, which again uh, comes from that, and then animate Control A, or excuse me, Alt A, and there we go, the object's falling. We have other, one other uh, way to do this. We can uh, let's create a new scene, and in this we'll um, again add a uh, mesh object, and I'll show the um, uh, using a frame uh, with a rotating reference frame. So let's add a cube, and then we'll duplicate this, grab this, let's move it over here. Now, um, uh, now what we'll do is uh, first create a couple of matrices. We'll do some 3 by 1 matrices for velocity of 0, and then we'll do another one, which will be a rotational matrix. Let's make this uh, 1 around uh, the uh, z-axis. And then, again, we'll go back. We're going to create an element. In this case, it'll be a body, mass of 1, with a 3 by 3 identity matrix. So there we go. We've got our those two. And now we'll go to Frames, and we'll create this reference frame between the body and this will be the reference frame. We'll add the frame. Uh, the linear frame will be, uh, or vector will be zero. The, uh, this will have that one in the z-axis. Good, so we're okay. That's the one in the z-axis, that's zero. From there, we uh, create the MBDyne file. Then we run MBDyne, and we display the results, and animate, and you'll see off it goes. It's, uh, it's, uh, been whipped off the end of a string and spinning. So there we go. All right, uh, that's your quick introduction. Um, enjoy. <laughs> 